After many weeks of hard work and patience, we have arrived at one of our most rewarding gardening activities, harvesting. To ensure safe food handling, be sure to wash your hands. Clean your harvesting tools, such as tubs, clippers, and shears. Mix one tablespoon of bleach per gallon of water, spray on tools, and scrub. Rinse with water and dump in an area away from the garden. Now we are ready to harvest. There are three main harvesting techniques. Root crops, one-time harvest, and continual harvest. Review with students how to properly harvest each crop. Avoid plants that look diseased or contaminated. Root crops, such as carrots, beets, turnips, and radishes, are ready for harvest when the tops are poking out of the ground. Students can simply pull the mature plants out, being sure to brush off any dirt from the root back into the garden bed. Crops with a head or a crown, such as cabbage, head lettuce, broccoli, or bok choy, are also only harvested once. Show students how to safely open and lock the clippers, then properly cut the vegetables at the base. Remove the remainder of the plant. Many leafy greens, such as collards, kale, Swiss chard, salad mix, and spinach, can be continually harvested over many weeks. Follow the vein down to the base of the leaf. Students can either snap off leaves or safely use the clippers. Only harvest the outer leaves, leaving the inner leaves intact. This ensures that the plant can regenerate. Once all of the crops have been harvested, they are ready to be processed by gently dunking them into the filled sink or trug. Remove any hungry bugs that may have remained on the leaves. If you are preparing for a farm stand, visit the toolkit for recommendations on how to bunch each crop. Record total weights of produce and write it on your harvest log, found in the toolkit. Store crops in a cooler if you're holding a farm stand or a cooking lesson later that day. If you need to store it for longer periods of time, ask if you can use the cafeteria's cooler. For more detailed instructions on how to harvest every fall and spring crop in our school garden, visit the harvesting section of the online toolkit.